And the first work, first piece of animation produced by MAPPA is Kids on the Slope, Japanese title, Sakamichi no Apolo. Uh, the director for Kids on the Slope, Sakamichi no Apuron, is Watanabe Shinichiro of Cowboy Bebop fame. And another thing about Kids on the Slope that you should know is that it was broadcast simultaneously in the US and France as well as Japan. And, and today we're going to be showing. Okay, uh, before we start our panel, we're going to be showing a short film from Kids on the Slope. And we will also be showing you a commercial in Japan produced by MAPA because that's something you probably won't get to see here in the United States. So it's an animated commercial. It's a commercial for gummies produced by a Japanese candy company called Meiji Seika. Uh, the voice roles are done by Mizuki Nana and Sugita Tomokazu. So please enjoy. The character designs were done by Mr. Yusuke Nakamura, who worked on an anime uh, 
back at that house called Yojohan Shinwa Taiken. Taiken. Uh, Yojohan is uh, a small apartment in Japan, about the size of four and a half tatami mats, and Shinwa Taiken. By uh, Iwaki Masaki, by director Iwaka Masaki. <laughs> So, Mr. Yusuke Nakamura also did the character designs for that commercial you just watched. Okay, now we're going to switch over to Kids on the Slope, Sakamichi no Apollon, by showing you a short 30 second trailer and the ending theme song. That's actually one of the items that I would really like to animate right now. Uh, the dilemma is that the original work behind it is rather long. So when we paste the anime out, it comes to out, it comes down to about eight hour long episodes. So eight hours of animation means we need a big budget, which means we need a lot of money. Now, where is this money going to come from? <laughs> Okay, you are right that I am the person who produced that piece of animation, but unfortunately that piece of animation is sold by my former company, Madhouse. So, I'd like to answer your question, but I really don't know anything about it anymore. Okay. あ、アメリカ展開をやっていただきたいと思ってるはずです。え、僕は結構気に入ってます。浦沢直樹さんにキャラクターを描いてもらって、浦沢さんというのは日本でも最も売れてる漫画家さんなんですけれども、自分の
Okay, please allow me to make a commercial about Tibetan dog. え、まだ中国とチベットが、あ、問題が起きる前の企画だったんですけれども、僕がチベットが大好きで犬が大好きだったんで、中国の原作、チベット犬という原作を、え、の活することに中国と合作でまた初が原作、合作、あの、合作で
getting ready to go out into the world. But then I left Madhouse, so that project fell through. So when I went to Mappa, I decided to bring him on as the director for Kids on the Slope, just so that he would have some work to do. I really think Shinichiro Watanabe is one of the top directors in Japan, one of the top five. それで劇場企画をしてたんですがちょっとうまくいかなかったんでマッパになった時にこの企画をやろうと言ったんですけども彼は今までですべてオリジナル彼のオリジナル企画で原作ものをやったことがないんですね今回が初めてでした。And that's why I wanted to create a theatrical animation with him. And when I went to Mappa, I brought him onto this project instead. But up until this project, he had only worked on pieces of original animation. He had never adapted a comic book into animation. So this was his first adaptation from a manga. So he had never, because he had never adapted a piece of manga into animation, he didn't know how much liberty there was in hand, whether he had to be very faithful to the original or if he could change the story of the original as he saw fit. So he put up a lot of resistance when I asked him to do it. え、彼は音楽が高速好きというかうるさい音楽に関して、え、造形が深い人なので、え、このジャズのアニメ映画をアニメーション作りについてはもうあなたがしかいないんだと。音楽ものだからあなたやんなさいという口説き方を話したら、
but with this piece of animation, something that was very challenging was the jazz performance, especially the movement of the drummer and playing the drums. When I'm preparing to create this film, we found an 18, 19 year old drummer called Ishiwata. Uh, he's debuted as a pro drummer now, but we had him playing the drum in the studio all the time so that we can study the movements. And somebody else we brought on was uh, Mr. Matsunaga, who is a very famous jazz pianist in Japan. We had him play the piano, and based on the videos and photographs of him playing the piano, uh, we created that animation for the film. Just creating the level of movement that we have for the musical performances would have been about twice as much work as regular animation. However, we needed to match the movements with the music. So we started with the sound and we studied the drum movements and the pianist finger movements that would create those sounds and we had to match the animation to the sound perfectly. So the two had to move in concert with each other. That was a lot of work. It took a lot of time and a lot of money. And I'm sure you're thinking right now, geez, all he talks about is money. <laughs> もう when I was planning out the first episode with the director, we were both very insistent that when creating this piece of animation, we would have to put a musical performance into each episode. But by the time episode three rolled around, <laughs> I was saying to the director, geez, how can we avoid putting musical performances into each episode? <laughs> I was in tears, begging him, please, please, let us go one episode without a performance. But he said no. He was very insistent that there be a performance in every episode. Especially episode 7. If it's an individual playing a single instrument, it's not too bad. But in episode 7, we had a whole bad performance. So that's the musical scenes and Kids on the Slope. Thank you very much.